time to welcome in Wendell Carter Jr. You are back home, but you play for the Orlando Magic. Yeah. What's it like to be back in the A and, and repping the city that you love so much? Uh, it always feels good, you know, to come back, you know, see all my friends and family. You know, most of my family's from there, so it's always good to come back. You know, I always feel the love when I come back, so it's always good to be back in the city for sure. He says he feels the love because he won three state titles. <laughs> yeah, three. Tell me who else has done that in their career. Yeah. What do you remember most about high school? Um, you know, just the friends I made. Um, you know, of course, I remember the three times I won, but you know, just the friends I made, I, I still keep up with them today. Um, you know, a lot of guys who, you know, went to the NFL, a couple guys that are still in college still. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty unique, you know, just being able to look back and just see those, those little moments we had, maybe in the cafeteria, things like that. And now we all, you know, on our own little ventures. Do you remember like what you ordered when you were in the cafeteria? I mean, you talked about it, so yeah. I gotta ask. Yeah, we had some like really good options, honestly. <laughs> so, I switched it up every day. I had pizza some days, cheeseburgers some days. So, yeah, the some basics. Yeah, the basics. All right, so basics. Pace Academy, that's where he went to high school. And of course, Andrew Thomas. Absolutely. He went to high school uh -huh. with you. Yeah. I mean, can you believe that he's playing for the Giants, yeah. drafted in the top five yeah. just a few years ago? It's yeah. great to see what he's doing now. Yeah, it's exciting. Um, you know, just, just seeing his, his demeanor, his, his drive for, for football and, you know, for him to you know, get to the NFL um, you know, as, a, uh, as, a top tr as a top pick, I mean, it's, it's exciting, you know, just because I, I saw it every day, you know, just him in the classroom, him on the, on the football field, just grinding, grinding. He finally made it, and, like, it's like, yeah, it's, a, it's a unique thing to see for sure. Well, how unique is it to have guys come from one particular high school in Atlanta and go to the league, NBA, yeah. NFL? It's, it's some, sometimes it's a blur. You know, it's, it's that one day, that draft, you get drafted to a team, and now, you know, you got a whole future ahead of you. So um, it's, it's definitely unique, but at the same time, it's, it's, it goes by so fast, for sure. So you're back in Atlanta. You have a basketball camp. Mm -hmm. You're encouraging kids to come out mm -hmm. this weekend. Uh, tell me about it. Um, so I, I launched my, my foundation called a Platform Square when I first got into the league. Um, this is my first camp I'm doing. Um, and really the, the main purpose of the camp is, you know, to give kids the opportunity. You know, they want to come play basketball. They want to do those kind of things. But at the same time, we're, we're allowing the kids to, to learn a little bit more um, about being a professional, right? So we got two classes during the day, a financial literacy class and an African-American studies class where you know, just, just giving, giving these kids different avenues they can take to becoming a pro. Because everybody, you know, especially where I come from, they believe that the only way they can be a pro is, you know, playing basketball, playing football. But I feel like I want to teach these kids, like, you can still be a professional and don't have to do those kind of things. Because, you know, just to be quite frank, like, everybody's not going to make it to these, you know, these, these positions in life. So, you know, it's, it's a lot of ways you can become a pro. And, you know, that's kind of what I want to teach them. For you, what's the best advice you can give a kid, whether he or she wants to be a basketball player or wants to do something else? I mean, yeah, with basketball, with anything you want to do, you got to stay in school. In my opinion. Um, you know, this, this, this basketball thing can be taken from me any day. And I feel like uh, the one thing that can't be taken away from me is, is, is what I've learned in my, in my mind. So, um, you know, that's, that's something I feel like every kid should have, you know, going into high school, going into college, going into the real world. Just, having a good head on your shoulder so you know, you're able to make certain life decisions that, that matter. And I think a lot of people out there would love to hear this. My man right here knows Trey Young and he knows him pretty yeah. well. <laughs> Are you impressed with what he's been able to do oh, yeah. in the last few seasons? He plays with a chip on his shoulder yeah. no matter how good <laughs> or bad he plays. Yeah, I mean, he, he's, a, he's a generational talent. Um, you know, they, they call him the second coming of, of, of a Stephen Curry. I know I definitely see it. Um, so he's definitely turned up Atlanta. He's, he's got the city on his back for sure. So I'm definitely excited for him. Anything surprised you about what he's been able to do so far? Man, just that, that run they had, not this past playoff, but the, the, the year before that, like, that was really impressive for a third-year player. That was really, really impressive what he did. So, I mean, the sky's the limit for him for sure. Do you play for the Orlando Magic? Tell me about the Magic and your time there. Um... We, we got a lot of, a lot of potential. You know, we, we, we're a really young team. Um, with us now having the first draft pick coming up, um, it's, that, that'll make us even younger. But uh, I, mean, I feel like we got all the potential in the world. You know, if everybody stays, of course, stays on, stays, um, on the right path, I feel like we'll be okay. So 
But we got the potential. We got all the potential in the world, in my opinion. So you were drafted in 2018 to mm -hmm. Chicago, mm -hmm. seventh overall. Yeah. What have you learned in the last few seasons that maybe you didn't expect? Um, that it's a business. You know, anything can happen at any time. You know, you never know. Um, but it's also a blessing. You know, it, it shows that, you know, you, you got to be able to move on from, from uh, certain situations, be able to transfer yourself into, you know, different places, get acclimated in different places really quickly. So, I mean, it's, it's all good. And, uh, but, yeah, I just learned that it was just a business. I want to win. And for me to be, to play with so many great players at Duke, um, it showed that I'm able to play alongside, you know, some of the some of the greatest players in college basketball, and still be able to hold my own, which I thought spoke a, spoke volume. Sounds like you had to grow up pretty fast, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. So you haven't been in the league that long. Yeah. You have a young team with the Orlando Magic. Mm -hmm. Are you now the like older guy on the team? <laughs> Are you like the vet trying yeah. to like groom everybody? Yeah. Um. You know, with me only being 23, yeah. I, I mean, I guess I am kind of the vet on the team now. Um, there were some guys on there definitely older than me, but. I definitely see myself as a vet on the team for sure now. Do you feel like that's a role you can take on and that you're pretty vocal and people will listen to you? Yeah, for sure. You know, especially as I, you know, as the years went on, I got more confidence in myself. Um, you know, just as a player, as a person, you know, understanding who I am, um, it just made it a little bit easier for me to kind of, you know, lead the, the younger guys on my team. Three-time state champion in the house, guys. Wendell Carter Jr., I appreciate your time. Yep, thank you. And shout out to all my sponsors, too. That's appreciate right. Appreciate y'all.